Princess Jody is another tutorial um, on docking software with you guys when the sun is taking a nap. Um, Spiker Man 10 asked the question this morning about how you can continue your video and have pictures included. Uh, I've always wondered that myself. Um, I don't use Windows Movie Maker re religiously like most people do. I use another program, uh, but I know most of you use Windows Movie Maker because it's free with XP and Vista. So I thought that sometimes if you write instructions, they're hard to follow and a video is easier to follow. So I thought that I would make a tutorial based on this. It's not idiot proof, but this is how you can do this. Okay, this is my, this is, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I'm not going to do the basic walkthrough. Uh, this is just a walkthrough on uh, how to do this part, okay? This is my most recent video, the chocolate chip muffins, Costco muffins, copycat recipe video. See, I have a clip here. See, this is the audio. You have to do this in timeline. It will not work in the storyboard. And this is the clip that I want to have the pictures a part of. And this is the key part of it. Like I told him in the comment section, uh, and I'll proof here, if you take the audio away from the video, uh, more than likely the words, uh, the video will have a lag and the audio will not be synced with it anymore. So it'll look like a bad Japanese movie with dubs over it, so, um, but it, it does work. Uh, if you don't care about that, you just care about the pictures. Uh, but anyway, uh, see this is the video and all you do is you hold it with the left click and then pull it down to the audio mu music section right underneath. And see, it kind of it did not sync it up. But I'm just going to prove my point here by right clicking the original track and muting it. And I did find oh crap, sorry. posted on more than one site. I'll put the link uh, on the side in the description. And this is basically the, me making the chocolate chocolate chip. They have. See, I had a clip already to to go, and that's why it was brief. For some reason, it cut the split that you chose. So I made it sync up with that. And then you right click and you mute this and then you go to the very end of the clip that you just dragged to the audio drag. I'm sorry about my grammar. They have my grammar here. It's not the best. And then you click on split. And then I take this out. And see, this brought this clip up here. But what you do is you put a picture here and a picture there, whatever pictures you want to choose. And then you drag it out to the very end of this audio. So there's no silence. It's just talking. See how that works? And this is what it looks like. Get at home type of recipe. And I did find a, a recipe that is posted on more than one site. I'll put the link uh, on the side in the description. And this is basically the, me making the chocolate chocolate chip. They have. Okay, what happened there is I muted this track. So you click on the audio part and you unmute it. That's what happened. Me making the chocolate chocolate chip. They have the last time I uh, 
had them, which is good, you know, good for them, good for us, I guess, is that kind of thing. So, I hope this helped Flacker Man 10 and anyone that else that had this question. Uh, this is just another tutorial from Jody. This is quicker. This is for people that, uh, up to this point, they know what they're gr doing. Um, and I hopefully this will help him, and this will help anyone else that had this question. I would actually right on here. Th this is what you do. You take the clip that you just want it audio. You don't want the video part. You go split here, split there, and then you drag the audio down here. You click on the video on the you click on the audio track. You drag it down here. You take the audio, the because now it's a separate thing. You know, you see what I'm saying? So then you delete the clip, and then that means that this moves all the way over here. So then you put the pictures here until the audio track stops, and then this just continues. You click on the video to see if you did it right. And then you click on finalize and everything else. So, I hope that helps. Bye.